Yo, 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 yo. What up, Shaman does? <laughs> what up? If you're new, welcome. If you're turning, what up, though? Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Appreciate you being here with your boy, Dust. Go ahead and check out the um, freestyle boom in the description below. But here we go. Another react video. This is everything wrong with 300 in 10 minutes or less. Now, side note, you may have seen my honest trailers reaction to 300. This is everything wrong with 300. Honest trailers and, you know, um, everything wrong is totally different, which is basically screen junkies and cinema sins. Um, you can see I already gave them thumbs up already these do great work go ahead and subscribe to them check them out also subscribe to screen junkies they do they're like two sides of the same coin just day videos are a little long let's just get into what it does i don't know if you like the movie 300 i liked it it was a great movie but yeah weird but i like it spoilers duh 50 seconds of logos ah i see mm. this movie is about both life and death <laughs> being small or puny or sickly or misshapen you would have been discarded. The margin of error for a visual inspection such as this is probably insanely high. <laughs> Child abuse is the only way to ensure your kid becomes a badass warrior. Fight diaper. Is his custom in Sparta? Wait, is the whole movie gonna be narrated? Taught to show no pain, no mercy. At what point is the kid not supposed to show pain? Because he's showing a lot of pain here. Warner Brothers brings you Zack Snyder's Sin City. Answer the boy. Given up for dead, returns to his people. To secret Sparta, a king, our king, Leonidas! So we've just been told that all Spartan men go through the shit that Leonidas did starting at the age of seven. Other than the fact that he's a king, what was so special about this story? Didn't they all go through the same thing? Zack Snyder films. If it looks real, you're not trying hard enough. If you made all the slow motion shots in this movie real time, the total runtime would shrink to 22 minutes. Earth and water. Mm. Well, you'll find plenty of both down there. The king of Sparta sounds awesomely Scottish for this region. Oh, shit, the cameraman fell in after the Persians he was filming. In order to make uh -huh. jumps up a cliff less daunting, Spartan training includes a visual effects course. Was I supposed to take drugs before I watched this? <laughs> I mean, I totally could have, if only I'd known. <laughs> <He's stupid. laughs> this is racist. Until someone tells me it's not racist, I'm gonna go ahead and consider it racist. Leonidas. <laughs> ass. Also, all of Sparta can see the king's dingling if they happen to look out their windows. Is this all enough? As you ordered. 300. Roll credits. <laughs> <laughs> and the captain completely lied. He said all the soldiers had sons to carry on their names. All with born sons mm. to carry on their name. And what's worse, he says he has others who could replace him. What a dick. Now that you ask. Where the f*** do they come from? Only the hard and strong may call themselves Spartans. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Only the hard. Only the strong. I heard you the first time. Double flute guy. We heard Sparta was on the warpath. Geez, they assembled the 300 warriors just this morning. How did word get to this group of soldiers so fast? <laughs> Let's camp right on the edge of a terrifying drop-off. Why? Because it makes a cooler shot. <laughs> Little kid lives just long enough to tell Leonidas what happened. Immortals. We'll put their name to the test. This is pretty gruesome, but damn. What a waste of time. This is clearly long shadows on a dirt surface, but in the previous shot we saw that the floor is all stone. So then this shadow has to be throwing itself out of her room, down the stone steps, and onto the dark courtyard. Except, as we saw a moment ago, there's tons of f***ing moonlight bathing the courtyard, without a trace of that porch light coming from her room. More arts and crafts with dead bodies. <laughs> I'm guessing people back then had blood made of glue or cement or something? How do you coordinate a job like this? <laughs> Put a few rocks down, now it's time for a dead body. <laughs> a few more rocks here, now another dead body. <laughs> <laughs> Your Persian scouts by the mortar. So wait, what were they going to use for mortar if they didn't have cadavers? Wow, this guy really thought his whip was going to do something in this situation. I mean, he just saw a gruesome dead body wall and thought, my whip will take care of the people who did this. <laughs> it is? I mean, it's being thrown together with carcasses, man. Is there something about corpses that make a wall strong? Also, where are all those Persians that landed on the beach? There were tens of thousands of them and now they're all gone, except for a dozen scouts killed for the wall? Where's the main base of operations? Where the fuck is everything in relation to each other? Dispatch <laughs> the Volsians to the goat path. Pray to the gods. Nobody tells the Persians about it. Yeah, especially rejected hunchbacks whom you should have heard cursing your name just a second ago. You are wrong, Leonidas! Earthquake. No, Captain. 
battle formations. Using this logic, there should be an earthquake every time the Persian army moves. Hold! Well, yeah, man, that's the whole plan, right? <laughs> Stay here, let them come to you. Why would any of the Spartan soldiers be about to run off somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone in the battle gets quiet when someone yells, Now! Leonidas told the hunchback guy that he had no use for him in the battle because he couldn't hold his shield up high enough for the phalanx, but what are these dudes doing back here? They aren't doing anything a hunchback couldn't do. And what about when the battle gets to this point in the open field? You couldn't use at least one hunchback here? Leonidas throws his spear and hits one guy, but two guys go down. What, what are they, conjoined <laughs> twins? Jeez, if they'd send more than one Persian at a time at him, they could take out the king pretty f***ing easy. Leonidas uh -huh. is kicking some major ass. Luckily, he's the only person that we will ever care about in this 300 Spartan army. <laughs> no reason to show the other guys. I'm sure they're kicking ass in their own way, but who gives a <laughs> f***, right? Why does the rest of the massive Persian army pause and wait while the Spartans drive this small group of Persians off a cliff? Oh, I see. It's so that we can get this shot. Great. <laughs> awesome. Also, a second ago, this cliff was wide. The Spartans were eight or nine wide pushing them off, but then in this glamour shot, it's a skinny cliff with just one or two Spartans out in front doing the pushing. How did Leonidas forget about these assholes? These bred from birth badass warriors all stand in awe of the obvious arrows for 10 seconds before anyone thinks to yell for them to take cover. Yeah, you showed those arrows who's boss. By the way, how did you get your spear back? You threw it into the Batista twins a minute ago. <laughs> Using your sword and the arrow attack happened right after that. Movie reads my mind about what I want to see and keeps cutting back from the battle scenes to riveting shots of boring life back in Sparta. <laughs> Antagonist says it would be unfortunate if something happened to the protagonist cliche. The director said, here, eat an apple. It'll make you look like even more of an asshole. There's no reason we can't be civil. Ha ha, and there's the reason the apple was in the scene. <laughs> makes the we can't be civil line so much funnier when you say it with a mouthful of apple. Okay, so it would be stupid for the Persians to kill Leonidas because all of Sparta would go to war, but would it be stupid to just kill Xerxes right here and now? He has no one defending him at all. I don't know, the dreaded omen of the seagull flying off a spear. This guy will fight for you, but you need to put him in chains when you walk him to the battle. Why doesn't Xerxes send two armies, one to fight at the hot gates and one to climb this easily climbable body wall? Seems like an easy strategy. I don't know. Spartans, PUSH! Okay, first, why would you scream and give yourselves away like this? And second of all, why didn't the leader of the Immortals take some of the 10 second head start Leonidas gave him by shouting to, I don't know, run away. Also, I'd like to know how this dead body pile did anything to help the Spartans whatsoever. They pushed the dead bodies onto one dude. It wasn't that big a surprise that they were behind the wall because the Immortals already had drawn their swords. I just think this movie has a dead body fetish. And finally, who's guarding the hot gates right now? <laughs> Every single Spartan is behind the dead body wall. Why did the Immortals even come to the wall in the first place? Wouldn't the hot gates look completely empty right now? Why was this Immortal dude running toward the monster guy? Was it so the monster guy could show his brute strength? Random Axe shows up out of nowhere on the battlefield when all the Immortals use swords. This is such a weird fight scene. The monster thrusts his sword towards Leonidas and somehow he's able to stop it by crossing his arms. When it cuts back to the monster, he's got the blade end facing upwards somehow. Also, Leonidas somehow holds off the growling monster with one arm while his other hand goes to pick up a random dagger. Why did Xerxes and his never-ending army of millions take the night off? Can't they enter into a simple attack-sleep, attack-sleep schedule where well-rested groups of soldiers can attack and keep the Spartans from getting any rest? Our eyes bear witness to the grotesque spectacle coughed forth from the darkest corner of Xerxes' empire. This grotesque spectacle coughed forth from the darkest corner of Xerxes' empire is a huge rhino. Grotesque spectacle felled by one measly spear. One hundred nations descend upon us. The armies of all Asia. Yeah, but one at a time. No computers were harmed in the making of this scene. I <laughs> officially don't know what the fuck is going on in this battle. There were elephants falling off cliffs, and now they're on a battlefield that looks like they're in the middle of a desert somewhere. And the Persians keep sending unskilled fodder towards the Spartans <laughs> and expecting anything to change. Why would you throw your only weapon you have left at one dude when there's plenty of other dudes to kill? Oh well, it's not like they're a challenge or anything, I guess. Arstenos! <laughs> my son! Well, I hope you're happy. You just cursed your son to movie hell right there. Oh no, how will we ever warn him in time? Skilled warrior somehow doesn't hear a horse running behind him, and it takes about a month for him to finally turn around to see it. Where did the rider go? Did he just ride in here, cut a dude's head off, and disappear? <laughs> <Right> <laughs> at all. cries of pain at the loss of his son are more frightening to the enemy than the deepest battle drums. What? The army of the dead, captained by an eight-foot god, is scared by mourning? Mourning? Was I supposed to take drugs before I watched this movie? 300 crosses into Rule 34 territory. Your joys will be endless. Can you just, like, use your god power to make me not look like sloth? I require that you kneel. Also, Persian Shack is addicted to sloth. 
You send men to slaughter for your own gain. Leonidas' wife insults the only guy that can help her. But tonight, we died in hell! Hmm, hell has a horrible rating on Yelp. <laughs> Sarcastic oh, clapping yeah. cliche. This will not be over quickly. Actually, it's over pretty quickly. Did the Persian mole councilman just carry around his Persian stamp gold coins everywhere he went? It's not like they'd be spendable in a city at war with Persia. Come to think of it, why did he even accept that as a payment in the first place? It's basically worthless to him. Steady breathing. The 300 at his back. There's nowhere near 300 of those guys left, dude. Old Leonidas gives testament to our bloodline. The word was spread that bold Leonidas and his 300, so far from home, laid down their lives. How does the narrator guy have any idea what happened after Leonidas sent him home with his message? Just standing out here in a field, just in case someone wants to tell me my husband is dead. <laughs> Credits brought to you by a much cooler version of the animated movie you just saw. Mm -hmm. Just standing out here in the field, because my husband is dead. <laughs> Slow motion, <laughs> <laughs> I love when they do the bonuses, it's so stupid! Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, I didn't know they did Immortals. I'm gonna put that in the comment section. Doing more. Probably not. Man, I got bored now. We do what we were bred to do. We came for 500 feet. Situations can arise. Sometimes I've heard 
even brothers and sisters, develop certain affections. Mm. And when those affections become common knowledge, well, that is an awkward situation. Indeed, especially in a prominent family. Prominent families often forget a simple truth. And which truth is that? Knowledge is power. This battle is over, Leonidas. We're done. When I say we're done. <laughs> there is no glory to be had now. Only retreat or surrender. No, never give up. Never surrender. I have filled my heart with hate. Good. Let the hate flow through you. Got a little weak at the end, but they they, they still can keep their um, thumbs up. We gonna get up out of here. It sounds too loud, so I guess it's finna burn out. I don't know why it does it. Just stop. I'm gonna take that song off because this song always gives me issues. It's that song. I don't know why it does that. But, um, I should put this. I'm gonna get out of here. Let me know what you thought about it. If you enjoyed the movie 300 for a second. And again, I thought. I sure had did this video. I was, I was doing cross references and stuff. Like, why would I download it twice? But the other one was the Honest trailer. This was the cinema scene. So, this is more of the breakdown. The other one was just kind of a trailer of what the movie really is about. So. Let's get up out of here. You boy does from the goat. Don't forget to check out the freestyle boom in the description below. Go ahead and rate, comment, and subscribe. Two fingers to the side. Does ah.